New leaks confirm the display size of the Samsung Galaxy S5. Other leaks talk about the Nokia Android phone that we still can't believe in, and the Cyanogen Mod phone is out even though we still don't know if you're gonna buy. I'm Jaime Rivera, and yeah, those are fireworks outside, this is Christmas Eve, and the only reason why I'm here is because my beers are still hot. This is Pocket Now Daily, and Merry Christmas. Let's start today off with some official news as the Oppo N1 Cyanogen Mod variant is finally on sale. Yes, you can pick it up today. And obviously its biggest benefit is the fact that you're getting Cyanogen Mod preloaded on the phone. Now, the question is if you're really buying into this device because the biggest reason why I'm skeptical is because it has a $600 price tag for something that you can currently get for free on your phone right now. Unless you're using an iPhone, obviously. Now, Amazon is clearly interested in landing more customers for their app store for Android outside the Kindle platform and the reason why I'm saying this is because the company is right now offering $5 of a gift card for you to be able to buy applications within their store but that only works if you're using any other device that's not a Kindle device which is such an irony so could this be that Amazon is just trying to lure new customers or could it be that their app store is not really doing so well now let's talk about the Nokia Normandy project which is assumed to be the first Nokia Android phone to launch we keep getting more leaks of this phone now and beautiful colors which include a very green green that's really green and we're gonna leave it at that but the problem is the more that I look at this phone the more that I think that this is not really an Android phone I mean unless we're getting soft keys we don't get what that back key is for and a lot of people believe that this is just the Asha OS or even Windows Phone 8.1 with the whole virtual button so stay tuned now, a company that really deserves praise is Sony. I was at the keynote at CES when their CEO said that they were going to take software seriously with Android this year in their offerings, and they have delivered. They're now launching Android 4.3 to the Xperia Z, Xperia Z L, and the Tablet Z, which is great. You can download it right now, and you can bet I'm going to do that with my ZL. But, you know, even more interesting is that Android 4.4 should be right around the corner. And I am willing to forgive the bad viewing angles on my Xperia ZL just because of this. And finally, for the hot news of the day, we get some more reports that Samsung is buying the panels for their Galaxy S5 already. That's really early, so we could probably get a phone early. Apparently, we are getting a 5.25-inch AMOLED display. Apparently, we are not going LCD. And there are more confirmations that this will be a 2K display coming. Apparently, this is not going to be a curved display, though, so don't get your hopes up. But anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. With all this 2K talk, do you want a 2K display on your phone in 2014? Or would you rather OEMs work on better battery life? Because in my particular case, I really don't see pixels on 1080p right now. So I would rather get the, you know, better battery life on my phone and not a 2K display probably until 2015. But leave us a comment down below. What would you prefer? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you again on Thursday because I will be drunk tomorrow.